quick drawing of Boba Fett's helmet because Boba Fett is A, awesome, and B, my favorite. Although those are interchangeable. Um, I may have said that Chewbacca is my favorite, but Boba Fett's my favorite bad guy. Although I'm a big fan of Darth Maul. Chewbacca is my favorite good guy. I like him better than Han Solo or Luke Skywalker or pretty much anybody in any of the other movies. Although Han Solo is a close second favorite. Right now, for Boba Fett's helmet, I think there's a little bit of a Spartan influence to it myself. They call it a bucket helmet. So you just kind of start yourself with a nice roundish top shape. And then uh, a lot of times I kind of think about where the middle of it is, right? Because that's going to be important for Boba Fett. And then I kind of think about whether I'm going to be looking at him straight on or if I'm going to be looking at if he's going to be looking down a little bit. I like always looking down a little bit because that makes him seem meaner. And then there's a, a, a visor over his eyes, right? And then there's the top of that visor. It's pretty important. So he's got this very dark piece for where his uh, eyes look through. And that dark piece also has uh, an area that goes over his mouth. I think he would fog it up all the time, but I don't know. Who knows what he's got in there? Yeah, one of the great things about Boba Fett's helmet is it's pretty beat up. So that can give you a little bit of leeway in how clean your lines are. Because who knows who punched him in the helmet today or not. Okay, so he's got this this piece here that's usually red. And there's kind of a indentation in the helmet right here. Comes in a little bit there, it builds up around, or, or maybe supports this area, is maybe a better way to put it. That kind of pushes that area back. It kind of creates this signature arch in his face mask, his face plate. So he's got this little metallic doodad here. I don't know what it is. I'm sure somebody has it listed somewhere. But that guy's in there. Adjust this a little bit down. Open it up a little. And uh, he's got on the sides. These little sort of earpieces that made a nice comeback for the all the clone troopers, which are of course clones of Boba Fett's dad, Jango Fett. I always thought that was a nice touch to 
build those guys out and really kind of build up the Mandalorian uh, background for Boba Fett. It's become a bigger piece of the Star Wars mythology with all the Clone Wars cartoons and, and those things. Got this little guy, which I always thought was an antenna. And then after the Clone Wars movies came out and the Clone Wars cartoons came out, I started swinging this thing down over the guy's eyes with some kind of rangefinder or something. Blew my mind.